Where in Poland you can experience the mountain vibe without crowds of tourists spending a lot of money and wasting time waiting queues. In today's episode, tasty food, beautiful landscapes, unique landmarks and some local Polish vibe. Cześć, cześć, I'm Marcin, let's discover Poland in the Polish way. If you want to go to Polish mountains, most probably the first recommendation you will find on the internet will be the Tatra mountains and most popular and touristic city which is Zakopane. Definitely that's a great trip destination. Tasty, beautiful, magical with a wonderful local vibe. Which deserves a separate episode. But there is one big issue. Crowds. Crowds of tourists from both Poland and abroad, no matter the season. However, if you are looking for wonderful views and want to be close to the nature and just relax, I have something for you. Driving from Kraków to Zakopane, you can turn in the Pieniny mountains direction. Almost the same distance. Mountains can be reached even if you are not the alpinist type. And Pieniny is area which is charming but much less crowded. Mm, there are actually two smaller issues with Pieniny mountains, but we'll cover that later. So my initial plan for trip to Pieniny was to rent a cottage and spend a few days with my wife, enjoying landscape, listening to the sound of wind and observing nature. If that's how your perfect holiday looks like, you can close this video, open booking, choose a cozy house in Pieniny you like the most and enjoy your perfect stay in Poland. However, I've had the pleasure of visiting Pieniny several times, I changed my plans a bit and I decided to take you with me to show you what more Pieniny can offer, because they offer a lot. What's more, you can find here probably the most underrated Polish site on the UNESCO list. But let's start with the basics. Pieniny is the name of mountain range, which covers more or less this area. The most iconic peak in Pieniny is Trzy Korony. The path to the peak leads through the Pieniny National Park, a beautiful, peaceful place with amazing views and full of sounds of nature. A few shots for you to feel the spirit of this place. Wait a second. Pieniny is more about so a few seconds of major ASMR will work better here. If you are a couch tomato, it might be a little challenging. But if you are experienced mountainist, it can be like walking to the bakery with beautiful views. In the area near the national park, you can find a few towns. We were in Krościenko, which is quite an outdating small town with a few restaurants and cafes. Very small marketplace in the center of the town, a historic church and beautiful boulevards by the Dunajec River. By the way, the river canoeing is quite popular here and it's easy to find organizers of such attractions. But when you are in Pieniny, you should also visit another town. Szczawnica is the biggest but still very charming town here. You can take a chairlift to the top of Palenica and views here are really breathtaking. In Szczawnica you find some tasty, quite affordable restaurants with Polish type food. We visited Bohema restaurant and we tried Rosu, popular Polish soup which is also a base for other Polish soups, Żurek, soured flour based soup, Kotlet Pieniński, which looks like this, Pierogi z Oscypkiem, Oscypek is a regional cheese, you can buy it everywhere here and you definitely should try it. For all of that, plus coffee and tea, we paid that much. I'm not sure if it's the best Polish food in Szczawnica, however for me as a Pol, it was tasty and I can recommend it. And listen to this because that's quite interesting and for some reason it's not very promoted for people from abroad. In Poland you can drink a few types of water. Tap water, only benefit of it, it is that it's wet, almost no taste. Something we called woda źródlana. You can buy it in every store, it's affordable but doesn't have many minerals. It can be sparkling or still, almost no taste. Woda mineralna, again you can buy it in every store and it can be sparkling or still, but it has much more minerals, it has a bit of taste. But we also have Woda Lecznicza and it's a f***ing rock juice. Super dense with minerals and if you boil it and let the water evaporate, you'll have a big stone. You can find a few springs of this kind of water in Poland and some of them are bottled and can be bought in some stores around the country. As you might guess, Szczawnica is one of these places where you can have it fresh. And you definitely should try it. One glass or actually paper cup costs something around 1 euro. And if you never drank it, you should. It will change your view on the water. On the way to next attractions, you will find two places with food that I can recommend to you. On the outskirts of Krościenko, there is a Pierogarnia Pasterniki. Pierogarnia is the word for a restaurant that specializes in pierogi. And we had here pierogi with sarnina and pierogi with brinza. And it's quite funny that these two options are not translated into English, but oh my god. Both are super tasty and difficult to find in non-mountains areas. Both I can recommend. And just to let you know, brinza is a cheese made from sheep milk and sarnina is deer meat. 
and they wrongly translated pierogi ruskie. If you want to know why, check my other video about pierogi. And if you don't know what pierogi is, you definitely should check it. We also took Kompot, that's the Polish name for a drink made from cooked fruits. It's quite popular in Poland, it's very tasty and you should try it. For pierogi, coffee and kompot we paid that much. And the second delicious place is Markowa Zagrod. This place's specialty is Pstrong. No, no, it's Polish fish name, Pstrong, or in English, Trout. I'm not a fish person, but I have to admit that the fish here is... Wow. And it's not only my opinion, there are a lot of reviews of this place on Google Maps and that's the first place during this trip where I heard languages other than Polish or Slovakian. Pinina is just next to the Slovakian border. And the recent not 5 star opinions are mostly focused on the price of food. And actually I have to admit that it's not cheap here. For all you can see here we paid that much. Plus, in my opinion, the sides are correct, but the fish is on a different level of tastiness. Before we move further, you probably noticed that there is a big lake here, with another super Polish name, which is Jezioro Czorsztyńskie. Of course, you can find some places to chill next to lake, but you might be interested in two castles located on the lake. Castle in Nijica, built in the 15th century, it's nicely renovated, you can go inside and absorb some history there. There is another castle in Czorsztyn, which is actually the ruin of the castle, still you can go inside, but it's much smaller and as said, it's a ruin with museum inside, but you have a beautiful view there. If you don't have much time, I recommend visiting Nijica. Now it's time for UNESCO. There are a few wooden churches in Poland which are listed on the UNESCO list. And listen to this. Church in Dębno was built at the end of the 15th century. And in the 1500s, these internal paintings were made. Since then, since 1500, the church has not been burned, struck by lightning, damaged or destroyed, which was quite challenging considering how many wars were on the Polish lands. And the paintings inside have survived in unchanged form for over 500 years. 500 years! In some random, no offense, village, something so amazing has been preserved. I must admit that this tiny church really makes a big impression and has its unique atmosphere. And there are a few more similar, but not listed on UNESCO, wooden churches in the area, such as in Grewald, Sromowce Nizhne, Parklova, but the one in Dębno is a place you must visit. Is that all when it comes to Pieniny? Definitely not, but this was supposed to be a short episode in which I wanted to encourage you to discover this part of Poland undiscovered by foreigners. And about two problems with Pienin. First, unfortunately, it is best to come here by car. There is no reasonable alternative transport that will allow you to fully experience this region. Second, in the title, I say that this is a hidden gem. Well, this region is known in Poland. I mean, it is a tourist location, although not as prominent as Zakopane or Krak. Nevertheless, it's not an entirely unknown or undiscovered place. And it's mostly visited by Polish people. So if you want to travel in the Polish way, you need to visit Pienin. And if you like this video, you should definitely check these videos. Subscribe for more!